one can hide. I'm not hiding, I'm dodging. It's called dodging, mate. It's tactics. You should probably learn about it. Or die. I'm okay with either option. The violence of Vulcods. Never let the size of a Vulcod fool you. These massive bastards can be as quick as any leech, and it can be put down the same way, by puncturing and pinning their rotten carcass to the ground before beheading them. Remember, it's all about preparation and exploiting your target's weaknesses. The problem, of course, is that Vulcods have no weaknesses. They are strong, fast, sensible, and deadly. They are killing machines with one simple goal, to put their huge claws around your neck. So if any of you lads are unlucky enough to ever face a Vulcod, just remember this dodge and make it mad. Hurt it, taunt it, and make it lose its temper. If Vulcod's brains lose, lose it when irritated enough, they stop thinking and start blindly attacking. This is your only chance to win by gaining tactical advantage when a stupid beast, where against a stupid beast, use it. From Know Your Enemies by Carl Eldridge Prewin Leader. He's oddly enough got useful advice for somebody I probably want to viciously murder. Yes, indeed. I, I really should leave this place. I'm assuming I can actually just get back up. Yeah, I can, I can get back up. And yet, I find myself oddly unable to go I've got things to do. I've got things to do. What am I doing? I know there was a body I wanted to loot somewhere around here. There it is. What am I doing here? Soiled letter. My my name is Robert Teasdale. To who am, whom? Ever may find this message, please try to help me. My daughter Louise disappeared a few weeks ago. She was seen for the last time in a bar in the neighborhood, not the one where she works as a waitress, but another one, the Dancing Trout. Two witnesses saw her leave the place with an elegant and unknown man, maybe a foreigner. There are many rumors of men and women vanishing in the area. I'm convinced my Louise has been abducted and is kept somewhere nearby. I know the police will not help, for they have already have more important things to do. So I've decided to look for my Louise by myself. If you find this letter, it means I failed saving her. My Louise is a good girl and does not deserve to die like this. She is of medium size with dark hair and a scar on her right cheek. Please search for her and finish this work for me. God bless you. Louise's father was determined to find and save her. Okay, this is someone new, isn't it? Yeah, okay, so I've got one clue for an unknown person who is currently lost. Do I continue on in this particular direction and try to find her? I sort of feel like I should now, even though I have a long list of other things to do. There could be a missing person down here. Oh, what the hell? Alright, that's not a good sign. No, it's not. So that's locked. Okay, I have absolutely no idea where this missing person is, nor if I should be looking for her. But if I want to carry on, I have to go through this locking mechanism, probably by filling a lot of things up. But that's the big question. Is this going to be somewhere I come back to later on, armed with more information? Possibly. I'm sort of half expecting to uh, meet the skulls again. So there's nothing really there other than random dead ends. This moves the water up a little. 
this moves it up more. And what does this do? Oh, it moves it all the way down. It moves it all the way down. Jump out of the water and get me. And I don't see this as Wait. what? What? What the? Why? Are... What? Okay. You've got... No, you've got the lock on again. Just, just. One of them in the middle, I guess. Oh god, I'm still I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm actually st That's I am Really? Actually? Don't lock on. Stop. Oh no, for God's sake. Kill some of them quickly. God. Got the blood. Oh. on. Just. All right. Locked. Oh. Get him. Get him. Get the blood. Oh my god, these are tough scowls. They really are. Oh, oh. Got the blood. Got this under control now, I think. He says, don't get cocky, but. And. Oh, he says. And then. Right, we've only got two left. We should. One left. Oh my god. Well, that went really badly. Is that just a hint that I should not be crawling around in this place? There's nothing here for me except pain and misery. Probably. Okay. So that would that that that's it then. He doesn't I sort of feel like Oh, wait. No, I can't get there. I sort of feel like I should be able to get up there. Somehow. You know what? I've got things to do. And those things don't involve being here. Right, let's stop getting sidetracked. I'm fairly sure I've scoured every inch. Yeah, I've definitely been here. Definitely been here. Right. I have... I have the feeling that... Oh. I've got to find Louise soon. I... I oh, she's not in the sewer? Or was she in the sewer? My vampire senses are telling me somebody is in trouble. Oh no, just... It's a leech! Sorry guys. Well, I'm not really sorry, but... I'm just in a bit of a rush. No time for formalities. Real person in trouble. I say real people. And I totally accept that dehumanizing you is a terribly evil thing to do. But you are annoying. And getting right on my uh, mammary glands, shall we say. Where the hell are they? Let's have a look. I have... Where is that? Where is... Oh, God, this is... Right, this is where I found the restaurant. Is... Am I heading away from the... I'm now heading rapidly away from this person. Yes, I am. All right. Can I get up there? I should be able to get up there. I should. 
Oh, I did. I had it. It was there. It was right there. I said, is it you guys that are stopping me from... Trying to get the big guy. Okay, you know what? Just get one of them out of the way, it'll be... I think somebody's moving around upstairs. There they are. Right. Okay, I can get up there. I can get up there. Okay. Easy does it, boys. Yeah, yeah. Easy does it, boys. No, you can't. You're going to die. But how do you not know that at this point? Filthy piece of shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a terrible person. Blah, blah, blah. actually been in this area. However, my my senses are telling me that I'm going horribly in the wrong direction. Uh It's 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 in the sewers, isn't it? It's I've Gotta go back in the sewers if I want to help this person out. I think. Or if I gotta get in there. Is it... Where is this? Where is this? There's a, there's a way into there. This is locked. I cannot enter. Okay, do I have to go all the way around? Maybe I have to go all the way around. Was there a way in? Over? No. All right, let's check the shopping area a little more carefully in case I'm missing some obvious clue. What is that? Good double-barreled shotgun. Already have something that's better, but hey, don't look a gift horse in the mouth. And that will lead us downstairs there. I don't think this is helping. No, I don't. I have a feeling I have to have to go all the way around. I thought I could hear someone slurping something. I can hear someone slurping. Oh, to scalp. It is a could there, oh, could be a way here, couldn't it? Oh, God. That's the shield, boys. Oh, I got both of them. God damn it, this is actually kind of irritating. Stunt! Yeah, it's someone below. More braille. Oh, oh! I should bring this to Mason Swanborough. Yeah, well, I'm heading in that direction anyway. I've got some people to administer to. Is it hit? No. No. All right, we're going all the way around, by the looks of things. And if that fails. I have a feeling I've got to go back into the, uh, into the, ooh, good grief, the sewers. Right. I have to go all the way through. Oh, I'm going through Whitechapel anyway. Oh, right. What the hell was that? Oh, it's big guy. Big guy. Oh, we got... And what was he... What was he doing? Was he eating the other guy? I think he was. Right. There. 
Right. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, I hate these guys. I'm gonna... Oh, no, no, no. Ouch, I'm... I'm sure they don't like me either, but... Honestly, they started dead. I've been in here before? Probably not. Alright, so I'm... i check which way I'm going. That will lead me up there. Can I get onto the bridge? I'm trying to... I really need to follow that. I need to get up there and... God. Okay, right. It's just, I feel like I'm going away from this person and I really do feel like... The, uh, the sewers was where I was supposed to be. I just, um... Didn't see an inst... Dead inside. I did not see... Any obvious signs of entry to anywhere else? All right. Out of curiosity, seeing as I'm in Whitechapel, who am I sup... Um, that's the docks. I've got one person in Whitechapel, and that is him. He's got a cold. But I need to see the blind man about the Braille. Yes, I do. That, the blind man, though, is... Oh, he's all the way over there. Yes, he is. Oh, never mind. Okay, so that's the sick person cured. Have I been here? I'm not sure I have been here. This looks... A little... I can't say new exactly, but newish. See? Put a shield up, use some blood, and then drain it and get some more back. Oh no! Oh. Yeah, that was badly. T oh, God. Damn it. And then run away from that person before they. Oh, no, before they just fall over and die. Now, there was a Pruin Rocky. Okay. Yeah, this could get me through by the looks of things. Yes, it could. Maybe I am heading in the right direction. Did you just say that I stun you and I drink from your neck and your first thought is die vermin? <laughs> dear, oh dear. Little optimistic. Uh, oh, can I get through here? No. Oh, this is, this is... It, it is going to be the sewers, isn't it? Oh, no, 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 not necessarily, not necessarily. Okay. Stun. And. Oh, now my shield's ready. I was going to put this. Oh, there might actually be a way through there. Assuming I can get in and it's not locked. No, oh, damn it, it's, it is locked. Bloody hell, then. How am I supposed to... How am I supposed to get in... Oh, that is irritating, because it's... 
I think it's actually in the sewers, though. I really do think I've got to go through the sewers. The problem is I didn't see any other entrances. No, I did not. So do I need something first? It's not... not going to be on one of these. I mean, am I missing a... Oh, I can actually travel quite far on these things, but I don't think that actually gets me anywhere useful. No, it does not. not as far as I can see. Or am I missing so Am I missing something? Weren't it? There wasn't a door down here, was there? I mean, I, I don't know if the... I think the arrow is indicating that it's below. But that's not what I wanted to do. So, like, it's right below this area, by the looks of things. And unless there's a secret passage, I do not think I can get there without going into that other... Nothing up there, is there? Is there something I can... I have... I think I have to go through one of these doors. It's locked, all right. And I don't think I can, but... There's a little exclamation mark. Saying... And I think that means Citizen in trouble. Right, let's do a more... Th Thorough inspection of the sewers. I oh, cannot it's enter. It's locked again. Is there any way I can get up there? If I if I if I activate these things, does that mean it's no no? Still need to. Okay, now it's open. It's open. Can I vampire whoosh? Up there. It doesn't look like it, does it? I mean, it really doesn't... What if I... Oh, I can't jump in the water either. So there's nowhere to vampire whoosh. How strange. If I lower it again, if I, if I lower it all again, and go through that door, do I get some options? Let's... Okay, that's that's gone lower. That And this one's still open. This one is still open. That one probably isn't. That's no use. Oh, no, wait. Oh! Oh, there is a... There's a bloody stair here! Oh! Okay! Oh my... God, that was frustrating. He says, you know what? Start... Concentrating. You've moved on. Let's assume... There will be things here that do not like us. Because usually, that is true. What? What? Your prey is mine now! Okay! That's a, that's a, that's a... Oh, what's it? Echo! Okay, you. What is going on? Oh, is this the foreign person? Don't you know better? Do I know better about what? Vampire? When it's just you know he's a vampire. Oh, God. oh, no, 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 no! Go drink, drink. You know he's a vampire. He's a bloody tough vampire. Can you get? Miss, could you just give us a second? 
This is my territory. Okay. Ow! I... Excuse me, miss. You're not helping. No, you're not. Go on. Oh. Oh, oh my! Oh, that's, that's bad. Oh god, you got your gut, yeah. He's really tough. Come up. Oh, feeble. I want a sword. Let me go, you I want a sword. Yes, I do. Oh, hello. To you too. I want a bloody sword. Oh, okay. Yeah, I do want a sword. And you. What? Okay, wait. What did I just. I got. What was that? Some. I got an update. Hello? Hi? Miss Teasdale. Are you alright? How do you know my name? Who well, are you? My name is Dr. Reed. I managed to track you down thanks to your father. So my father really was looking after me. This man. This vampire told me my father was dead. Is it true? I'm afraid so, miss. I'm so sorry for your loss. But you are free to go, as your abductor is no more. I suppose my jailer also killed my father, didn't he? Thankfully, he did not search your father's corpse, where I found his notes describing where he might find you. You should read them. I must find my father's body. He deserves a proper burial. Oh! Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, you got a headache. Oh, I tell you what though. Oh, I can't even give you a I I could cure your headache for you. Goodbye, Miss Teasdale. And be careful. Until we meet again. <sighs> okay. Well that is a bit of a relief. And yes, I realize it. Are you just going to stand? Yeah, she's probably going to make her own way out. That that may have been a little bit aggravating for more than just me. I I I, I can. S oh. Okay. Was this? Oh no, this is just. Oh no, we can go up there as well. Could there be more? Th oh. <gasps> Come on, axe. An axe. A common axe. Is this a two? Oh, it's a blood absorption weapon? It's a blood absorption. No, 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 no. It's a two-handed weapon. It's a two-handed weapon that drains blood. Oh, we might want to... I mean, I like the stun one. I do like it, but... I wonder how much damage that does. And, and an axe... That one parries. I'm less interested in that. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to do some playing around with the current weapons I have. Yes, I am. Maybe it's time to upgrade. I wanted a sword. I can't believe I couldn't take that vampire sword. That is... Where is this going to bring me out? Church. Wait. West End. Oh, it's. We're near to the. Wait, no. Is this. Okay. Oh, wait, no, this is. Oh! I'm inside. This here. Can I unlock it now? Okay! So I now have access to this area. Brilliant. Not sure what I want. Oh. Dr. 
read. I am glad to see you again. Hi. Don't. Are you not going to? You want me to talk this side? Good evening, Miss Price. How are you tonight? Dr. Reed, I didn't know you had returned from the war. I had a new doctor when you left, but he's not as kind as you. Always glad to see a former patient in good condition. It's been a long time. Too long indeed. And as a token of my appreciation, I'll grant you the best price if you fancy buying anything from my humble shop. Uh, I might, but you're a new person and I'm a nosy person, therefore... What can you tell me about yourself, Miss Price? I'm still managing my shop. The only difference is, since the quarantine, we're open at night. You, on the contrary, seem to have changed a lot. Y yeah? Really? Have I changed that much? Dude, you pale! It must have been Watch the war. Your eyes. And the night shifts since my return. Don't get me wrong, Dr. Reed, you're still handsome. Just maybe a little bit wiser. More serious. More dead lucky. It suits you well. That's worrying. Tell me more about yourself. No new fiancé? I remember you were hoping to get remarried. I'm remarried. sure you must have a few suitors. Who would marry an old bat like myself with a grown daughter and a little business? As you know, I only fancy handsome men like yourself. Okay. She's got a thing for her former physician. Physic physician. Oh my god. Failing at the English language. Uh, right then. Um, Have you noticed anything in particular in this part of town recently? Other than you coming back to cheer me up? Nothing at all, Dr. Reed. Yep, definitely flirty. And... Does your daughter still worry you, Miss Price? I remember you were often concerned about her health when she was younger. Have you not seen Carol since you returned? She's almost a young woman now. But she'll always remain my sweet little baby. So you're less afraid? Some things never change. Carol is still too clumsy for her own good. Sometimes her innocence puts her in real danger. Uh... Go on. Why would her innocence put her in danger? She does not realize how cruel life can be. Maybe I was a bad mother to protect her too much. My poor dear Carol. Hmm. You have every reason to be cautious, Miss Price. Especially in these difficult times. Maybe you could talk with her, Dr. Reed. It would be nice to have a man here more often. We would both feel safer. Uh, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll, I'll have a chat with her. Is she nearby? May I look at your goods, Miss Price? It's always a pleasure to have you here, Dr. Reed. Take all the time you need. Ooh, I do want those, so let's buy that. What else did I want? Maybe some opium. I hope you can stay a little longer this time. Um, I will definitely be spending more time in London, if that's what you mean. And um, I'm I'm still looking for clues. I'm I'm. It's basically what's going on here is it's the epidemic, right? I'm I'm trying to cure it, so I'm looking for clues. I'm I'm not rifling through your stuff and stealing it. Honest and or rifling through your neighbor's bins or anything remotely like that, because that would be you know. Right, this takes me to what? I'm supposed to be going now to find out about Doris Fletcher, but honestly, now I've I've cured the person in Whitechapel. I've not spoken to the man about Braille, but I suspect I could probably go back when I have the third or fourth piece. I don't really need to make a rush to there. And at some point, I'm going to be uh, visiting somebody in the uh, church area a preacher there. So the question is, is do I want to be heading in this direction anyway? Maybe just to get the lay of the land. That takes me... around. Is that another entrance? Oh, they are 
tough though. He's definitely tough. Oh, I thought I had that timed. I did not. Oh, really? That was slightly annoying. But... I can ignore that area, probably, although I'll never know what's there. This is the entrance, right? This is the other entrance that I couldn't... Oh, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm unlocking it. All right, so I've now opened access to this area. And I need to go to the docks to cure a lot of people. And I think I would like to speak to Dr. Swansea and Lady Ashbury before I speak to Doris Fletcher. They, I, I, my vampire tingling is off once more and... But before I do it, I do, I do want to figure out what the hell's... Oh, it's... Oh, God, that's not what I want to do. Best turn around if I were you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look lively. Okay. Oh. And then GTFO. Remember your vows, friends. Oh. Oh, really? I really. And we cannot be defeated. Yes, you can. I've done it many times, mate. Okay. I just usually do a slightly better job of it. And right, here we go. Now I think it's the stun he's I think it's the stun he resists. I think that's what it tells me it's doing. It's resisting the stun. Oh. Not the damage, but the stun. I can't stun him when he's down on the ground. Probably some sort of, like, you know, Queensbury rules or something. Uh, can't get through there. And this was an entrance to the... Oh, it's... Ah. What is that? And why would the pre go... Guards around it. Is that going to be like the Prewin home base? Because if so, isn't this a little close to have a safe room? It's not as good as the cudgel for sheer damage, and of course there's no stun. But it will absorb five points of blood, which is nice. I mean, that is nice. I'm going to try that. I am going to try that, partly because that could be a better weapon, and partly because I, I sort of feel like... I don't know, I, I feel like an axe murderer is slightly more me. Um, oh, where did that one come in? That came out... Isn't that the door I... Ah, right, no, right. That's the, that's the door over there. I'm... Now going back to... Right, well, I want to talk to Lady Ashbury. I want to talk to Dr. Swansea. And I want to cure people in the docks before I uh, speak to Doris Fletcher. And... I also want to try this axe out on someone. Not him. This is somebody new! Good evening, sir. May I ask you what you're doing here at this late hour? I'm conducting an investigation about the epidemic in this part of town. And who are you, sir? I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed from the Pembroke Hospital. May I ask who you are? Sounds like a police officer the way he's questions. asking me questions. I'm Detective Inspector Charles Albright from Scotland Yard. That would be why you sound now like I a police find officer. Your answers convincing. What? What is a Pembroke doctor doing in the West End at this time of night? Uh oh, let's have a. Oh, I 
work for the Ascalon Club. I... Do you think he knows? Everyone's got to know about the Ascalon Club, surely. I work for the Ascalon Club. Here is my permit to go freely about the city. The Ascalon Club? You should have said so, sir. I must warn you, these streets are dangerous, and you'd better be careful. Uh, I'm always careful, he says, lying badly. What can you tell me about this district? I'm the one asking questions, especially when there's a killer Wait. on the loose. Didn't we just discuss Ascalon Club? Very important person, you know. Just saying. What killer? I'm not going to discuss that with a civilian, sir. Haven't I told you about the investigation I'm conducting? Perhaps I could help you. All right, without giving you too much information, I'll tell you this. I'm convinced there is a homicidal maniac on the loose, using the epidemic to disguise his kills. Um... Charles believes a homicidal maniac is hiding behind the epidemic. To be honest with you, you're right and wrong, I think. I think there's a lot of homicidal maniacs hiding behind this epidemic. And what about the epidemic? We both know the situation is critical, don't we, Doctor? Colleagues of mine die almost every day. Okay. Hmm. What are you really doing here? I told you. I'm a detective inspector from Scotland Yard, investigating suspicious cases in the area. All by your lonesome? Do you work alone? Yes. The situation is difficult for the police. Many of us are sick, and since the summer strike, most men apply a work to rule on their patrols. Okie dokie then. What about the situation in the East End? Why are there no police there to protect the civilians? I know, it's a shame, but we just don't have enough men to cover the entire city. Right. All this story, I guess. The poor always suffer the most. Why are you investigating at night? Criminals rarely act in daylight, you know. But <laughs> since you are <laughs> also you a know. night worker, have you noticed anything strange which requires police attention? Uh, I'd like to report Jeffrey McCollum. Do you know Fergal Bansher? Who? What was Jeffrey? Why would I want to report? Je I've noticed nothing odd. Uh, do you know Fergal Bansher? That's the that's the vampire dude that I killed. Should I lie and say I've noticed nothing odd? I'd like to report Jeffrey McCollum. I I I. Who was Jeffrey McCollum? Who was Jeffrey? Well, I can't find anyone of that name on my list, so I'm guessing it must be one of these people, or I... It, it, the name rings a bell for some odd reason, but that could just be... I've noticed... Do you know Fergal Bansha? I mean, isn't that the big guy? That, no, I've noticed... Nothing, officer! No, I've noticed nothing, Bod. All right. But keep your eyes open, though. Yeah, we'll do. We'll absolutely... Uh, choo. Tell me all you know about that homicidal maniac you're looking for. I'm not even sure there is only one. The wounds are always the same, but the modus operandi varies. Sometimes violent and brutal, sometimes precise and swift. How could different killers inflict the same wounds? That's my main problem. If my theory is correct, maybe we're facing a group of individuals sharing the same violent tendencies. Perhaps a sadist cult. All right. Are we talking about all the people I keep finding killed? Because I, f I found, like, a family brutally murdered, but it seems like somebody in the family killed them and then, you know, turned into a skull. Uh, what are you investigating, exactly? I have a missing woman, possibly abducted a few nights ago, Louise Teasdale. It seems you already found my other missing person, Actually, Mr. I... Tadao Kimura. Tell me about Louise Teasdale. She's a waitress. Her father reported her missing. We don't have enough men to search for her, sadly. Do you have any idea where she could be? No. But I feel she's been abducted. She went to a pub a few nights ago and vanished. I hate I to rush you, but I found her. I'm not equipped for such an investigation. Uh, dude. What are you investigating, exactly? I have a missing woman. No, no, we've done this. We've done this. We did Tell this. Tell me about Louise. She's awake. Do you have... No. Okay. 
Goodbye, Detective Inspector Albright. Goodbye, Why Dr. can't Jonathan I Reed. tell him? I'm sure we'll talk again soon. Yeah, we're going to talk again so I can tell you I found the missing person. 